don't think we should go with this guy. Why? It's just too easy. He's too slick. Who's going to do this business? He's a really nice man. He's from the Midwest. All people in the Midwest are really nice. Okay, what makes you think that his wife is going to help us out, right? I mean, I don't feel like making money by doing people's chores, either. Well, maybe she wants some work done around the house. At least we have to get to Atlantic City, okay? We don't have time to just stick around here. We gotta get on the move. Well, if you could think of another way to get there, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever you say. Okay, guys, we're all set. My wife will be here any minute. You guys ready? Oh, oh, terrific. I'm so tired, I don't even know if I can get Great. it. Oh, you okay? Oh, all right. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, it's a trick ankle. Oh, no. Are you hurt? Are you gonna be all right? Oh, it kills me. It swells up like that. Listen, I. It's gonna take me a minute before I can walk. Would you tell your wife if you would wouldn't mind just to pull the car by the curb so I don't have to walk all the way over across the street to the parking lot? Uh, all right, sure. sure yeah, no, no problem. Thank you very much. Let's get out of here. What? I felt a gun on him. Let's go. Gun. Don't all nice guys carry a gun? Come on. Well, what did you find out? Well, I talked to my contacts in Cincinnati. They said Wishy was a local bum. Petty thief. No threat to any of us. Did your sources know anything about how his meeting went with Frisco and Felicia? No. Nope. They said that Wishy fell into some dough and that he's been spreading it around kind of thick. How? Well, they don't know. Or maybe Martha gave him some money to deliver her message. Oh, hello, Mr. Bain. Hello. Hello, Duke. Hello, Anna. I've been waiting to hear from you. I did try to call first, but it seems to have been busy all day. Um, am I interrupting you? No, no, no. I was just on my way out. I'll see you later. Okay. okay. Um, did your lead turn up anything on Frisco and Felicia? Nothing really helpful. We know that he stole some clothes after he left Fort Charles because a woman found his uniform buried on her property. Well, that's not much good at this late date, is it? No, it isn't really. We also know that the route he and Felicia took went to New York, but we knew that they'd gone there anyway. Well, what about the New York police? Haven't they come up with anything? No, nothing. Nobody's come up with one single thing, you know, and I'm getting more and more worried as the minutes go by. Well, from what I understand, Frisco's a very resourceful young man. I'm sure everything will be okay. Is that what you meant by the card? Yes. But what did you mean by everything will be all right in a few weeks? Anna. I'm sorry. I know you asked me to trust you, but I can't help it when there is something that you're not telling me. I have many things to tell you, but not now. Boy, so you expect me to wait? Well, I hope you will. If there's something that you know about Frisco and Felicia, you have to tell me. I never said I knew anything about the manor. Then why do you say that everything is going to be all right in a few weeks? Well, all I meant was it's impossible for them to stay hidden for, from the police for that much longer. Is that the truth? Anna, please believe me. Their safety is more important to me than I can ever say. Damon, uh, it's me, it's, it's Howie. Look, I, I, I lost them. You what? I lost them, Damon. I, I went outside to get the car. They, they were all set to go with me. I, I was gonna take them to the outskirts of town. I was gonna pop them. What happened? I don't know, Jones said he hurt his ankle. He faked me out. Look, I swear to you, Damon, I wasn't gone more than a minute, a minute. I came back and, and, and him, him and his girl were trying to get out the back way. Ah, you idiot. Didn't you chase them? Yes, of course I chased them. Well, did they them. have a car? How did they get away? I don't know. I don't know. I... I know they're broke. I know they're broke, and they're trying to get to Atlantic City. Atlantic City? Damn it. I knew it. They broke the code on the printout. I want you to do, Damon. You get back to New York. Well, don't you think I should stay to the terminal? I mean... You're useless kind of... now, Howie. They're on to you. You get back to New York. Well, what about them? Who's going to be on their trail? When I ordered you to make the hit, I ordered a backup as well. And she's already in Cincinnati, just waiting for her orders. She? Yes, she. And believe me, Howie, she won't fail. Good 
Good morning. Good morning. Oh, any news about Frisco and Felicia? No, no, no. I just came in to warn you about your 9 o'clock appointment. Oh, warn me why? The Lawyers Association. Mm-hmm. What do they want? Well, I, what I hear, they want to nail you to the wall. What for? This. It's an interview with our witness from the Tanglewood Chalet, Wally Peters. Oh, no. Renegade cop and wife living it up with stolen money? That's terrific. Oh, and the, the Lawyers Association's blaming me? Well, ostensibly they're coming in as concerned citizens. Oh, by the way, Vince Frascati also called for an appointment. He doesn't need an appointment to see me. What is it? Well, uh, this is an official visit. He's representing the Police Benevolent Association. Why? What do they want? I don't know, but I'd lay odds it's about Frisco. <sighs> this is not going to be a very good day. Would you like to stay around and give me moral support? I can't. I gotta get down to the docks and talk with Tom Green. Why? Does he know something about Frisco? Uh, no, but I figured he might know something about his investigation. All right. If we can't find Frisco and Felicia, at least we can maybe find out what made them run. Or who. Mm -hmm. So don't worry, we're ready to receive the shipment today. Good. Philip and David will be here to supervise. I don't need any watchdogs, Damon. Sorry. Mr. B's orders. Well, I've handled every other shipment without a hitch. Why should I need your help now? Yeah. Frisco and his wife are out there with that printout. that could ruin us all, and Mr. B doesn't want anything else to go wrong. Well, all right. Well, you tell David and Phillips to stay out of my way. Oh, I'll uh, make sure they don't interfere. happening in Chicago? I just talked to Martha. She checked out all the hotels, no sign of Frisco and Felicia. Where could they be? Well, Martha thinks they'll show up in the dock when uh, Tessie's boat comes in. And when is it due? Not for a couple of hours. Something's wrong, Angel. Something is very wrong. If they were anxious to talk to Tessie, they'd have been waiting on the dock at dawn. This is Damon Granville. Mr. Granville, it's Edna reporting in. All right. How's it going? Great. The cop and his wife found the wallet. They're in the bus terminal having breakfast now. Good. You know your orders. Get rid of Frisco and Felicia. Good morning, gentlemen. Please make you sit down. Thank you. Suppose you know why we're here. Have you read that? We had no idea that the witness was going to speak to the press. Exactly what I've been trying to tell them. How could she possibly know? That kind of publicity makes the entire city look like fools. Every petty thief in Port Charles is going to be out there trying to get newspaper coverage. I don't see why you're so concerned, Mr. Dunn. Unless, of course, it's because you're running for district attorney. Is that true? Uh, I've been approached, yes. Look, that is entirely beside the point. We are here as concerned citizens who don't want to see a mockery made of the law. I don't want to see that happen either. However, I do feel that Mr. Dunn is interested purely for political aspirations. Oh. Now, you might be elected as DA, and then you would have to prosecute Frisco Jones. And you just want to make sure that we'll help you. Isn't that right, George? All I want is to be reassured that this rotten apple doesn't spoil the barrel. When a cop goes bad, it only means one thing. The whole city is corrupt. First of all, we're not sure that Frisco is a cop gone bad. I mean, he might have been forced out of town. Forced? Yes, How? forced. If Felicia was being set up, if she was framed for stealing that money, what he'd be doing is trying to protect her. And find out who framed her and why. Oh, is that what you're teaching the rookies at the academy these days? Frisco Jones is the last man that would break the law. Now, if he's being railroaded, that is another matter, and he would fight back as best he could. Look, Anna, the only reason we're here is to find out what kind of progress you're making in the investigation. Well, good. Captain Lewis is out investigating something at the moment, and we should have the information this afternoon. That's fine. And we'd appreciate being kept informed. All right. If Captain Lewis comes up with anything, you will be told. Uh, let's see. That uh, warehouse over there. Frisco asked me to keep my eye on it for him. Did he tell you what he was looking for? Uh, I don't think he knew what he was looking for. But he was very interested in the shipment of uh, washing machines that came in. Washing machines? Why would that interest him? Well, he never told me. But uh, it was kind of strange. See, the shipment of washing machines came in by truck instead of by boat. And there was something else that was curious. What's that? The washing machines came with armed guards. Armed guards? Yeah. Frisco figured they must be very special, the washing machines. Yeah, he was right. 
All right, is there anything else you can tell me, Tom? Uh, no. Well, Frisco just asked me to watch the guardhouse, or the, the warehouse, keep my eye on it, and then to let him know if the, the guards took off. So I guess he wanted to sneak in there and uh, check out that uh, shipment. Mm. Did he ever? I don't know. Maybe. All right. What about those armed guards? Did they uh, appear any more than that once? No, as far as I know, it was just that one time. Seems kind of strange, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, damn. We can't accept the shipment with the cops around. This can really screw up things. Yeah, you run over to Front Street to lay the trucks from entering the docks. For well, how long? Well, for however long it takes, I don't know. I'll run over to Kelly's, I'll try and find David and Philip. I'll delay them. Keep your eyes open when the coast is clear. Call me. Okay. Tell me, calm down. Everything's on schedule. Yeah, everything except getting that printout back. I knew we were in trouble the minute Duke hired Felicia. Don't worry about Felicia or the printout. Now, I just spoke with Edna. She knows what to do. Well, I don't like it that they're in Cincinnati. We can't control things that far away. I told you, relax. Edna is the best. How's she gonna do it? Well, she's gotta get him alone, you know, away from people. Then she'll manage it. Yeah. Well, Frisco's pretty sharp. What if he recognizes her as a hit lady? Oh, <laughs> never in a million years. Edna looks like... Everybody's grandmother. I don't know where you got this money, but I've got some bad news. What's the matter? You can make change. Well, I mean, it's funny money. Counterfeit. I knew it was too That's impossible. True. Counterfeit? Well, I had to check it out, son. I SOP. Any bill over 20. It's on the list. Uh, I guess if you check this one out, it'd probably be the same, huh? Well, I'll check it out. Don't go anywhere, okay? <laughs> don't worry. We're not going anywhere. What did I tell you? I knew it was too good to be true. Too good to be true. I knew it. You're right. How are we going to get to Atlantic City now? That is the least of our problems. We have to worry about staying out of jail for passing counterfeit money. Sorry. This one's no good either. Listen, mister, I really apologize about this. We had no idea this money was counterfeit. You have to believe us. Well, I guess you have to call the police now, don't you? Nah. Really? You're not? I don't think you knew this money was phony. Oh, no, we didn't. I swear we didn't. No, we just found it this morning. We're completely flat broke. <laughs> well, I know that much is true. Anyway, you two don't look like crooks to me. I'm not going to call the cops. Oh, thank you. We appreciate this forever, really. Right? I don't know what to say. I don't know. I apologize we can't pay for this fantastic breakfast you go for us. Well, come along with me. We'll work something out, okay? Come on. Right. Hey, we really appreciate this. Kelly's. Oh, yeah, just a minute. Duke, for you. Thank you, Ruby. Oh, excuse me. So, uh, tell me, how's your thesis coming? Well, truthfully, I'm kind of at a standstill. I can't decide which direction I want to take. Have you ever thought about studying multiple personalities? Well, I would like to cover as many areas of psychological problems as I can. Um, why do you ask? Well, I found something in my file, a patient that I know that has multiple personalities, and I found something quite fascinating. Here are two letters written by the same person, and the handwritings are completely different. These were written by the same man? <laughs> this is fascinating. Brian, this patient was admitted by Kevin. Yes, Kevin did the initial diagnosis. That's what makes it right on the money. Well, you know, um, this just might be the angle I need for my thesis. Would you mind if I took this with me? I really would like to read it. No problem. You might study that people with multiple personalities have handwritings that take on completely different characteristics. Yes, that's just what I was thinking. It was Angel. The truck has finally arrived. What was the delay? Oh, it was caught in a traffic jam. Someone's car overheated on the on the highway. Well, we better get the merchant. No, please, uh, David. Why don't you, you and Philip, just relax here, enjoy the rest of your lunch. I won't be needing any help. Thank you. You heard the man. He doesn't need any help. Excuse me. Oh, hi. 
too. Terry, uh, Mr. Holmes. Hello, Duke. How How's it going? Very well. Fine, thank you. Thank Listen, I hope you don't mind me asking if I can come by the club this afternoon to just to do some rehearsing. Yeah, that should be fine. All right. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good Goodbye. Seeing you. Goodbye. All right. Philip, I want you to take a look at that man. His name is Ted Holmes. Here's his dossier. Major shareholder in the Purity Water Company. That's right. I assume Mr. Holmes will fit into our plan some way. I want you to study that dossier, memorize everything you read. You're going to have to know Ted Holmes as well as you know yourself. Does this have something to do with the next phase of our operation? All I can tell you is that Purity Water has shown incredible growth. And that's very important to us. Can I see you a minute, Mr. Granville? Sure, Tep. Excuse us, please. What's up? Edna just called from Cincinnati. What'd she say? Well, Frisco passed the bad money, all right, but the restaurant owner never called the cops. He's got them working in the bus terminal restaurant. Working? What are they doing? A little carpentry, a little cleaning, paying for their breakfast. You want to hang this back up for me, son? Oh, yes, sir. You bet. Okay. I don't want you to worry about this, okay? We're going to get to Atlantic City. We're going to find Tessie. She's going to help us decode the printout. And before you know it, we'll be back home in Port Charles. What did Martha have to say? Oh, Tessie still hasn't arrived in Chicago. That boat was supposed to be there an hour ago. Did she try to radio? Of course she did. There was no response. Well, I don't know what could have happened. I talked to Tessie. She said the boat was on its way. No, maybe she's taking a detour. What about Frisco and Felicia? Did Martha find them? No, there's still no sign of them either. Duke, there's got to be some explanation. Yes, and I think he just walked in the door. And you think Damon has the kids? I don't know what I think. I think something went wrong in Cincinnati. Listen, go upstairs. Keep in touch with Martha and let me know. Right. Congratulations, Duke. For what? Delivery went off without a hitch. Well, I told you I didn't need any of your watchdogs. I have every confidence in you, Duke. It was Mr. B who was worried. Well, I take it you will give the man a favorable report, then? Oh, absolutely. Well, thank you. And since our business relationship will be over fairly soon, I take it you will also call your dogs off Frisco and Felicia. My dogs? I don't know what you mean. Oh, come on. You know exactly what I mean. You do know where they are, don't you? All I know is what I read in the newspaper. Oh, come off it, Damon. Last I heard, they were in New York City. You don't know where they are? You did tell me that you were going to keep an eye out in Frisco and Felicia. Yes, I will, as long as you don't interfere. I gave you my word. Yes, which means absolutely nothing to me. Don't get me angry, Duke. I'm losing my patience. Yes, well, so am I. Now, if you do anything to harm Frisco and Felicia, anything. Are you threatening me? Listen, man. You forced me to frame Felicia to get she and Frisco out of town. Now, I will keep them out of town until the money arrives from Atlantic City. Now, don't you interfere. You play it straight with me. You harm either of them, and I will see you in hell, Damon. The fiery Scotsman with his own peculiar brand of honor, huh? Be very careful. Do not push me. I will see you in hell. My, my, my. Such passion. Save it for Anna Devane. So I was asked to tell you the association is filing formal charges against you. The Police Benevolent Association is filing charges against me. I'm sorry, Chief. Look, I don't go along with this decision, but somebody had to tell you and I got the assignment. All right, well, you just tell them that I have never once publicly accused Frisco of being a bad cop. I've never done it publicly, and I certainly haven't done it privately. Well, the whole... How dare they file charges against me? The whole point of the association is to take care of their own. I mean, if they think Frisco's getting the shaft, they want their protest on the record. 
All right, well, let them have it on the record, but I want my statement on the record also, and that is that Felicia has been set up, and Frisco is trying to handle this whole thing on his own. Now, if he'd come to me in the first place, I could have handled it myself without all this trouble. Look, I know what you're saying. Look, I, he should have come to you. Yes, he should have come to me, but he didn't. When I get my hands on him, I'm going to teach him about, about teamwork, and it's the last thing he's... Anna, done. I'm on your side. I'm worried about them, too. I know. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, Vince. It's just that I'm getting all this pressure from every single angle, and I have nothing to tell anybody. Still, uh, no lead on where Frisco and Felicia are? Well, the last of you, they were in New York. They could still be there. I just, I just wish that there was some way that I could, I could let them know it's all right to call me. You're already being accused by the press of overprotecting them. I know. I would give up my job if I could help them. Anyhow, I would... Yes, come in. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, that's right. Well, I'm through, Captain. Uh, let me know if there's anything I can do. Yes. Thank you, Vince. And, uh, send my love to me on the job. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Was I right? Yes. You were right. The PBA. They're fighting charges against me for persecuting Frisco Jones. And the Lawyers Association say that I'm coddling a criminal. I can't win at all. I'm sorry you're having such a rough day, Anna. Yes, I'm having a rough day. Very rough day. Do you hear anything from Tom Green? What did he say? Oh, I don't know if it means anything, but he said that Frisco was very intrigued with a shipment of washing machines that was being delivered out to the ADZ warehouse. Washing machines? Why would he be interested in that? I don't know, but uh, he watched the shipment being delivered. It turned out it was armed, under armed guard. Armed guard for washing machines? Yeah. Doesn't make sense. No, obviously that's what Frisco thought. So he asked Tom to keep watching them and let him know when the guards were gone. Well, did he manage to get in and check out the machines? If he did, he'd never say anything to Tom. Who owns the ADC? I got records checking that right now. Let's go and check this record. I'd like to find out who owns that place and what kind of shipment they bring in. He must have had good reason for wondering about this place. Maybe that reason was why Felicia got set up. I'll bet that this floor has never been so clean ever, ever. And this furniture has never been in such good shape as it is right now. Well, I wonder what we have to do now. I don't know, probably wash dishes or something. Remind me to call the labor board and complain, will you? I'm getting a little sick of this. Oh, honey, we can't complain. We could have been arrested. Hey! How are we doing there, Harold? You got another job for us, yeah, huh? Yeah, we'll do anything. Yeah. No, uh, I think you're more than paid for your breakfast. You can put up that mop and pail now. Oh, thank you. We really appreciate that. It's no problem. But yeah, absolutely. Not, not everybody would be that understand. <laughs> I am. Edna just called again. Frisco and Felicia still at the bus terminal. She can't make a move. Too many people around. Relax, Tuffy. Edna's a pro. She'll wait it out. Listen, Tuffy. You kids have worked awfully hard. Uh, here's 50 bucks. I wish I could give you more. No, but... no, Harold. Thank you. We don't no, want you your money. you've helped us enough by not calling the police. Hey, yes. look, you're flat broke. Um, if I could give you more, I would. Take the money. Listen, we appreciate it, but... Thank you, no. Hey, listen, I won't be able to sleep tonight if you don't take the money. Well, if you put it that way. I mean, it won't get you to Atlantic City, but huh, at least you'll eat. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Harold. We're not going to forget this, okay? Yeah, thank you. All right. Oh, what a very nice man. <clears throat> you know, he could have given us $1,000 and it still wouldn't help because we'd lost Tumble Dry. It doesn't matter about Tumble Dry. We've got to get to Atlantic City and find Tessie. Frisco, maybe we just go back to Port Charles and, and turn us in and, and find out just no, what's going on? No, we're not going back there until we have evidence to clear you. I love you for wanting to try, but it's hopeless. I'm going to go to the ladies' room, clean up. Hello, handsome. Have a cup of coffee, please? Yeah, sure. You coming or going? I'm going to Atlantic City, as a matter of fact. Really? You want to play a number for me? Sure. Just tell me what it is. Yeah, it's number seven. Uh, 
Here. Here's a buck. All righty. Number seven it is. I hope this excursion bus is all right. I've never taken one before. What? Are you with a group? It's not really. It's a senior citizen special. Twenty bucks one way, and they throw in a ten dollar chip for gambling. It's not a bad deal. Hmm? Huh, sounds great. Hmm? Hey, you're not old enough to qualify, are you? Actually, I'm not. I'm only 54. But I guess I fooled the ticket taker. He didn't even ask for my ID. <laughs> Good for you. I'm for a bargain anytime you can get it. <laughs> this lady over here, she just gave me a great idea. How do you think you're going to look as a senior citizen? choose to make our life so difficult? I don't know. But we do, don't we? Sometimes the jobs that we love, they only are to... sets of keys to my penthouse elevator. I have the other set. You want me to have this one? If you'll take it. And sometimes we all need a, an island refuge from the storm. Just a place where we can leave the rest of the world behind. Is it true the government has supported you to personally take charge of the search? And now that the Policeman's Benevolent Association has filed a formal complaint about you, do you expect that it's going to be difficult to get some cooperation around I don't here? know. I don't know. I have no comment for you at all. Well, what about the well, allegations that you're dragging your feet, that Frisco's not only a cop, but he's a very good friend of yours? All right, all, all right. right. If you want the press, right, then you go down to the press room, because they have all the releases Break it up, then. fellas. Ham, when we have something, we'll let you know. If first of all, there's anybody a cop, they'd have nailed him by now. Well, what is that? Get out of there. Trying to get a ride out of you. Come on in. All right, knock it off. Will you please? We deserve to get a stay. Yeah, sure, sure. Some other time. All right, all right. Look, we may have a lead. What have you got? Well, I got this report from the Metro Police we notified in the five-state area. Frisco and Felicia have been seen in Ohio. Ohio? 
you have any follow-up on that? No, not yet. All right, we'll lean on them, because we've got to get some answers. We've got to find them, you know, else we're going to be in big trouble. What do you think of this? Is this something a senior citizen would wear? Are you sure this is a good idea? Well, I'd like to hear a better one if you have one. Do you really think we can pass as old people? We have to, otherwise we're not going to make it to Atlantic City. We can't afford the full fare, so we have to take the excursion bus this evening, right? I know the plan, but I don't think we can pull it off. Excuse me, <clears throat> but what you're looking for is in the back. Beg your pardon? Oh, these clothes are all for old folks. We keep our younger fashions back there. Uh, you know, we checked those out, but these are much more stylish for us, aren't they, honey? Oh, that's right. Wearing old people's clothes is all the rage these days. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Where you been, man? It's called the retro look. You know, the older you look, the cooler you look. I try to keep up, but trends change so fast. We'll take it from us, okay? It's the latest uh -huh. thing. If you say so. I'll show you what we have in the way of elderly apparel right this way. Oh. Let's go. This isn't going to work. It has to. We want to find out why we were framed and who was behind it, right? All right, David, get here as soon as you can. All right, let's get to it. We're here to supervise the transfer of the cash shipment from the warehouse to the safe. Money's on the way? As far as I know, but before we get to business, I wanted a few moments in private with you. Something wrong? What I'm about to say cannot leave this room. What's so critical? Frisco and Felicia have been located. They're in Cincinnati. What are they doing there? They're on their way to Atlantic City. Atlantic City? They have to be stopped. They will be. We can't afford to have them anywhere Relax. near that city. I've arranged for a rather drastic interruption in their travel schedule. Frisco and Felicia will never get to Atlantic City alive. What does Duke think about that? He doesn't know. And he won't find out. Frisco and Felicia could be anywhere. Could... Gentlemen. I'll be right with you. Excuse me. Some police are out there somewhere. We have got to find them. you at Van Oh, no, Sean, hi. Not at all. I uh, got your message. I just hope you're not going to ask me any more questions about Ellen's death, that's all. No, I'm not, not at the moment. Good, because I've had just about all of those I can stand, huh? Oh, Sean, I I'm sorry I have to put you through all of that, but until I find out where Alan is or what's happened to him, then I have to follow every lead. All right, I understand the routine. Oh, by the way, I appreciate all you've done to try and clear my name. Who told you that? Captain Lewis also told me I was lucky to have you on my side. I agree. I'm just doing my job, that's all. <laughs> Which brings me to why I asked you here. All right, what's up? I need your help. I am going insane. I'm going round and round in circles, trying to locate Frisco and Felicia. And I thought that I could have a fresh angle on the whole problem might help. I take it there are no uh, leads on their whereabouts? No, none. No rumors at all. Got anything to work with? Well, yes, actually. I, I have a few things, and I, I, I'd like to fill you in on them. All right, sure. What? It's mainly centering around the ADZ warehouse. Do you know it? I know it, all right. Nothing special about, about it from what I've seen. Well, Frisco happens to think that there is. He's been very interested in some well-guarded shipments that have been delivered there. What sort of shipment? Oh, I, I have no idea. But with that kind of security, they must be valuable, right? Yeah, but there's nothing suspicious about that, Anna. Guarded shipments arrive on the waterfront all the time. Well, Fisker was interested in this particular place. Why? What is it about the ADZ warehouse that attracted his attention? You think there's a connection between that and his sudden disappearance? Yeah. If Felicia was framed, and I happen to believe that she was, then perhaps it was because Frisco was getting close to something, you know, on his investigations in the waterfront. And the question is what? Well, I think, I think the ADC warehouse is the key. We've got to find out what's going on down there. Anybody interested in fresh laundry?
looks like another successful delivery, huh? You sound surprised. I have the utmost confidence in your abilities, Duke. You know that. Any update on Tessie's boat? No sign of it or her. What about Frisco, Felicia? Nothing. Damn. What now? You keep on it. Call in all the favors you got coming and find them. I'll do my best. Okay. Where's he going? He's got to take care of some business for me. Now, I hope you haven't forgotten your appointment with Dan Rooney this afternoon. We need his approval of the blueprints for the Fisherman's Village. Relax. Construction's practically underway. I just hope you have everything in order. Have you ever known me not to? Dan's no pushover. Well, I know what I'm doing. There isn't a commissioner in Port Charles I can't get to see things my way. I'll believe that when you come back with Rooney's okay. Excuse me. I have to check the bar. Is it all there? Every penny. Good. I have a surprise for you. You're finally going to meet Mr. B. When? Today. What's the occasion? He wants a progress report on the waterfront redevelopment plan, so I thought we could all give it to him in person. I've chartered a plane to take us to Atlantic City. What about Frisco and Felicia? No longer our problem. Woo. I'd like to have an official confirmation on that before we go to Atlantic City. I expect to hear later today that Frisco and Felicia Jones are dead. Now for the finishing touches. Well? Gorgeous. You look gorgeous. I don't believe it. <laughs> what do you think there, huh? I can't get over the fashions you kids wear. What'll be next? You'd be surprised. Nothing would surprise me. Does makeup look all right? Very convincing. Somebody knows his stuff. Be right with you. Oh. Feel free to browse. Take your time, dear. I'm in no hurry. Uh, listen, I wonder if we could work out a deal here. If we could trade the clothes in that we were wearing when he came in for these that we just got. We're a little short on cash right now. Sure. That's what a thrift shop is all about. Besides, I'd say I came out ahead on the deal. <laughs> Terrific. Thank you. Uh-oh. What? Look what? at those pretty young hands. You'll never pass her elderly with those in plain sight. What you need are some gloves. I have just the pair in back. Don't go away. Great, thank you. Frisco, we gotta be out of our minds if we think we can get away with this. What if we get caught? We get arrested. And you'll get kicked off the police force, and I might have to go... Felicia. I might have to go to prison. No. I won't let that happen. I would kill before I'd let anyone touch you or harm you. I'd kill. Now, we're gonna get to Atlantic City, okay? And we're gonna find out all the answers we need, especially about the Tumble Drive printout. That's a promise from me to you, Shmita. If we make it to Atlantic City. Nothing's gonna stop us now. It must have us. Come on, just relax. You look terrific. You know what you remind me of? No, don't say it. Here. Oh, great, thank you. Try these on. You know, that's that's a great idea. I never would have thought about covering her hands up. Thank you very much. Um, I think these are gonna be just fine. Thanks. You're all set. If this is the newest style, you two will be as trendy as they come. Guaranteed to impress your friends. Well, that's the idea. Thanks for all your help there, my friend. <laughs> Anytime. Bye-bye. Oh. There you are. Sorry, I was detained with other customers. May I help you? No, I don't think so, thank you. Uh, this, I'm afraid, isn't the sort of store that I was looking for, but I'm sure I'll get what I want. I always do. So that's our proposal for the waterfront village. Pretty impressive, don't you think? A splendid idea. Will you see the execution? It'll be the finest project your office has ever commissioned. We have high hopes for the redevelopment of the waterfront. Did you have a chance to look over the figures that I sent you? I spent the morning on them. Then you should have a pretty good idea about how we intend to go about constructing the project. 
I believe I do. So, do we have your approval to begin the construction of the village? No. No? No, I'm afraid I'll have to turn down your proposal. Why? There are a dozen specs in here that don't come up to code. Now, I don't know whether you were trying to save time or money or both. But we don't put up buildings like this here. Now, if your company wants to submit another bid that comes up to regulations, I'll be glad to consider it. In the meantime, I'll have to turn you down. Mr. Bruni, you're making a mistake. Maybe I am. But I know how to erect a building. And I also know what happens when uh, one comes down around you. I won't okay shoddy construction. I'm sure we can come up with an alternative plan that meets all the specifications. Fine. If you do, bring it back. I'll be glad to consider it. Thank you, Commissioner. Are we still on for lunch? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I, I found out I could get away from Kelly's. Am I too late for lunch? Not at all. I could use the company. Aha, uh -huh, problems. Yeah, things in the renovation aren't going the way I expected them to. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What's wrong? Well, from the looks of things, people are more interested in uh, padding their pocketbooks than their buildings. Aha, uh -huh, trouble with contractors, hmm? Yeah, I was thrown a curve this morning. I'm afraid instead of developing the waterfront, we're going to exploit it. What's up, boss? I don't know what Damon's trying to pull. What do you mean? Well, take a look at these plans. How does he think Dad and Rudy's a fool? These specs are substandard. Dan's gonna spot that. And turn down the bid. Yeah, you gotta absolutely turn down the bid. I don't like this. Look, what kind of a job is this? Everywhere I look at substandard. Look, substandard work. I'm not going to have this. I do not like it. He's trying to turn the, the, the fisherman's village into a fiasco. How are you going to stop it? I'll find a way. I will find a way. What about Frisco and Felicia? Not a word from Martha. Man, they're supposed to be in Chicago already, getting on Tessie's boat. The boat hasn't docked yet. And Frisco and Felicia have disappeared without a trace. You know? Damon went back in his word. He got to them somehow. Maybe they got delayed for a reason. I don't know. Could Martha have sold us out? Not a chance. You raised hell with her, Duke. She'll find out what went wrong. I'm responsible for their safety, Angel. If anything happens to these kids, I will never be able to face Anna again. Duke, the plan is set. Once Frisco and Felicia get on Tessie's boat, they'll be safe. Yeah, then they'll start wondering where Tessie is. Well, they'll be told that Tessie's in Atlantic City waiting to see him. That she has to stay undercover because she knew about the frame on Felicia. It's all got to time out, Angel. It's very, very important, the timing. One week from just now, and I'll be out of this entire operation. Then I can tell Anna I discovered that Felicia was framed and the newspapers will print the story. That's bringing trouble awfully close to home. <sighs> Don't you worry about that. I can handle it. I can't let anything happen to Frisco and Felicia. All the chips are riding high in this, Angel. There's too much at stake. There's money and there's lives. We can't let up now. We can't save Frisco and Felicia. It's all over for both of us. The whole thing is over. And you and I, we are as good as dead. All right, motive. Well, none, as far as I can see. And if you could come up with one. I'd say they didn't run out of town. Why? I don't know. I mean, run out of town suggests that they, they left of their own accord, but not willingly. Now, what would force them to go on the run? Being set up. Yeah, but why not stay and fight the frame up from here? Because the heat was too much? Yeah. Maybe they thought that they could find better answers elsewhere. Maybe they were even sent on a wild goose chase. By whom? I don't know. Don't know. Someone they... Yeah, someone they trusted. Or maybe someone told them where they could find the person that was setting them up. Yeah, that would be Frisco's way, all right. Fight the frame himself without asking for any help. Oh, he's been doing everything solo ever since he joined the force. Anna, I am inclined to agree with you that Frisco and Felicia have been set up. Even if I didn't know them so well, I mean, the circumstances surrounding their sudden departure is just too haphazard to suggest criminal intent. I know. Well, I've thought that from the start. All right. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll 
keep an eye out on the waterfront, see if I can come up with anything on this ADZ warehouse, right? Thank you. You're I welcome. appreciate it. Mm. <laughs> now, uh, I hope you don't mind. I'd like to ask a question that may hit a little close to home. Sean, I've never stopped you before. All right. I know how close you and Duke are. But doesn't it bother you that all this started as soon as Felicia went to work for him? You have no evidence to support that kind of a conclusion. No, and I'm sure that you've covered this angle yourself. Yes, I have. Just to put your own mind at yes. rest. Mm -hmm. I have had Duke thoroughly investigated. He came up squeaky clean. Now, I personally went through his books, his bank records, and everything was in order. Now, he, he didn't even know that the mink was missing until I told him. All right, I believe you. Take well, it easy. No. Calm down. Oh, he's not involved in this, Sean. Don't start saying that. He's not. Well, I'm glad to hear that because I would hate to see you involved with someone who spells trouble. I can take care of myself, Sean. You know that. I know that. But just remember something, huh? Objectivity goes right out the window when you start thinking with your heart instead of your head. Wait, what do you what exactly are you trying to say? Nothing really. Other than that, I'm one hundred percent behind you as usual. And I'll do whatever I can to help you find Frisco and Felicia, but right now I have to go. So good luck, Chief. See ya. Oh, Sean, sorry. Excuse me, Bert. And I call you down here to pick your brain? Yeah, I thought what it was worth. I just hope that you two can get to the bottom of all this. Now don't worry, we will. Well, I just got a follow-up on that Ohio sighting. Report unconfirmed, so uh, Frisco and Felicia may or may not be in that area. Just another vague lead. Yeah. Anna, do you think it's worth tracking down? Absolutely. We don't have anything better. Yeah. You take a police helicopter and you go out and you go anywhere you want. We've got to find a trace of them. We've got to. I agree. I'm on my way. But, Bert. Yeah. Frisco and Felicia, they've got to be okay. I know that. Hey, I almost missed my bus. <laughs> this, this is the senior citizen's excursion to Atlantic City, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I can hardly wait to try my hand at those casinos. You must be gamblers, too. Oh, well, we do take our risks, yeah. You folks see me swimmer? Oh, cute, huh? Funny? Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's it. Ma'am, you haven't spotted this young couple around here today, have you? No, I can't say as I have. Thanks, anyway. Good luck in Atlantic City. You don't need to wish me luck, officer. How's that? I have all the luck I need right here. My good luck charm. It's never let me down yet. On the track. Yeah, looks like it. Now, will you relax? I'll relax. I think I know just the way how. Come in. Hello. Ah, speak of the devil. Oh, am I interrupting anything? No, Angel was just about to leave. If I wasn't, I am now. Well, looks like someone's had a good day. Yeah, well, mine was pretty rotten up till a few minutes ago. Oh, really? What changed your luck? Oh, some minor logistical problem just sorted itself out. And now I feel like celebrating. Oh. I'll do my best to get into the spirit, but I don't promise anything. Still no word on Frisco and Felicia? No. We have a few leads, but nothing really concrete. They'll find them. I know. Bert's out doing something right now. In fact, I think I'm going to check at headquarters. Mm -mm. Later. I have some champagne chilling. I would like you to take a seat. I'd like you to take your shoes off. And I would also like you to stay for a while when I get the champagne. Feel better already. Hey. You ain't seen nothing yet. Mm. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Oh. You know? Ow. If these muscles were any tighter, they would snap. Well, they say that weightlifting firms up your muscles, but I'm a great believer in stress, you know. And the pressure's getting greater, huh? Yes. Every day that we don't find Frisco and Felicia, the pressure just builds. Are you familiar with the term 
Nervous breakdown. Oh, yeah, I'm past that, dude. Don't worry about that. I'm, I'm on my way to a chronic ulcer. Can I be your pressure valve? Yes. You don't know how much I rely on our time together. You know that? I don't know what I'd do without you. I don't want you to even think about that. Not much chance of it. I need you as much as you need me. I'd like to think that, you know. But at the moment, it seems that you're doing all the giving and I'm doing all the taking. Now, didn't I tell you once before I'd always be here for you? Wait. I'm beginning to count on that, you know. Why do you think I gave you the penthouse key? Anna, no woman has ever shared my life before. Hasn't even come close to it. You know something? Your love is the only thing that I can be sure of at the moment. Will you promise me something? I promise. You don't even know what it is yet. I don't care what it is. I promise. I promise you the whole world. I promise. I'd settle for just some time alone together. As soon as we've got Frisco and Felicia back safely. Just where do you want to go? Oh, I don't know. Um, anywhere. A small secluded hotel, somewhere quiet, with a nice private little garden. It's a date. Just the two of us, mind. Oh, well, I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, where's that champagne? I'll go get it. You. What if we don't find them? I mean, what if... What if... I don't want you to think about that. I can't help myself. It's me. No. Excuse me, but just what did you do with the keys I gave you for my penthouse? They were my pet. <laughs> Well, don't you think it's time you took them out? And don't you think it's time I showed you how to use them? Yes. Yeah. Follow me. I'm a bit short on that, too. The light comes on, and we're on our way. It's you, sir. <clears throat> yes, uh, we'll be right in. That was Mr. B. 
He's ready for us. Where? In the adjoining bedroom. Look sharp, gentlemen. It's showtime. <clears throat> After you. Thank you. Mr. B, may I present? I know their names, Damon, but perhaps they don't know mine. I'm Bert Ramsey, co-police chief of Port Charles. We've got a lot to talk about, gentlemen, but business can wait. What do you say we spend the evening getting to know each other?